Well, here I am on Gilly Trawangan, and uh, I'm up in the north side at a place called Turtle Point. And uh, if you're lucky, you can spot turtles in this area, which I did just moments ago, but it didn't have the camera. But uh, we'll see if we can find one, eh? The beach itself, well, lots of pebbles and coral and stuff on it, but uh, yeah, not very wavy. Well, I was hoping to get a turtle on camera for you, but as soon as I grab my camera, I can't see any. He was a pretty big one too, a big brown one. Uh, got fairly close to him. But, um, you know, the visibility of the water is pretty good, but none in this immediate area. You can usually see them rise to the surface every now and then. I can see one. He's over here. He, he bobbed up for a sec. Come on, fella, where are you? Let me see your head again. Here it is, I think. Here's a baby turtle sanctuary on the neighbouring island of Gili Mino. This is just run by local people trying to do the right thing to help the conservation of the turtles. This is not professionally funded. Well, I've just arrived on another island off the northwest coast of Lombok, one of the three Gili Islands. This one's the middle one, Gili Mino, and it's my first time here. And I'm up on the northeast coast. Lovely bit of water. This is probably the least visited of the three Gili Islands. Uh, so, you know, the first impressions are good. I'm just walking up to the northern point now and uh, it's a bit more laid back certainly uh, compared to Gili Trawangan, or Gili T as they say, which is more of a party island for younger people. Uh, I had two nights there and uh, I stayed well away from all the, uh, the noise and action but it was good to sort of meander in. Uh, you can get around the island on a push bike easily and you just go in there at night time and uh, that's where all the good uh, bars and restaurants are. But it was good to be uh, well away and in a peaceful surrounding towards the north side, close to uh, where the turtles were. Some boats up ahead. Here's a map of the Gili Islands off Lombok's northwest coast. I started this time on Gili Trawangan and then went across to Gili Mino, which is a much quieter island. It's quite easy getting from one island to the next. Well, I'm up on the northern end now, uh, between a place called a Deng a Deng restaurant and bar, and Easy Warung which is just there and um, yeah so this is the central northern part of Gili Mino and a nice swimming area as you can see gentle waves and uh, in the shallows out here it's not too corally you know 
One thing I noticed about Gili, uh, Gili Trawangan was most of the places where you swim, uh, you're sort of stepping on dead coral, you know, which is, unless you're wearing something like that, it can be a little uncomfortable. Well, I've just moved up a bit and I'm going to have some lunch at the Adeng Adeng restaurant, which is right there. And I think I'll have some uh, mahi mahi fish grilled, uh, a bit of rice or whatever they serve it up. I'm having mahi mahi fish grilled with rice, sauteed veggies, some fries, and a nice ice lemon drink. All right, well, I'll give you a look at the accommodation here on Yili Mina. This is where I'm staying, called the Mino Mojo Beach Resort. On the east side of the island. So, basically, this is my room just right near reception. So when you wake up uh, in the morning, you've got a great view of the sunrise. Not far to go at all for a nice coffee in the morning. My modest place, unmade bed. I'm paying $80 a night here, which isn't too bad, you know, for what you get. Uh, nice air conditioned room. And uh, no complaints. It's a really chill island, this one. And uh, these are the kind of islands I really like. Well, guys, that's it for my short stay on Gilimina. I'm moving on today. There's the lovely view I've had here for the last couple of days. I'm heading back to Bali and uh, to do that I need to get a, uh, a fast boat from here which will go via the next island closer to the mainland, Gili Air, then to Bangsal on Lombok. Staying on the boat, uh, I'm, I'm going with the uh, Ekajaya which is the, the most reputable boat company. Um, stay on the boat, uh, it docks there, picks up a few passengers from Lombok and then it's a, about a 90 minute trip back to Padang Bay uh, in Bali uh, and from there uh, probably end up there about 3.30 and then uh, there's about a you know a 55 kilometer journey to Seminyak which I haven't stayed at before I've always tended to stay uh, close to the airport around Kuda or Legian you know, when I'm over there so it's just the one night and then tomorrow I fly to Flores and if everything goes according to plan, then the circular journey on Flores Island uh, would be potentially up to a thousand kilometers, but it really depends on how comfortable that, uh, that scooter is or whatever motorcycle I can muster to hire from Love and Bajo. I'll end up back there and then flying back to Bali before heading home. So a bit of adventure ahead.